Hey guys, welcome to the spoiler section. So, is there an after credit scene that Sony set up like every single Marvel film, an after credit scene on what could be next for these ladies? No, they'll probably fuck that up too. <laughs> no, there's absolutely no after credit scene because they fucked that up too. And they knew it was a pile of garbage <laughs> after the print run, so they didn't even bother. Maybe they filmed one and they said, ah, let's not even do it because I don't think it's going to be successful. So, um, Los Aran Aranas group is so stupid looking. I thought they were like little carnages running around. Yeah, yeah. They, but except for their costumes are so bad. Yes. They're so bad. They're basically like red Spider-Man leotards. The, the, the Sony, you know, if you, if you went over to um, Tobey Maguire's suit, you know, took out all the color, made them red, ripped <laughs> off all of his webbing, and then went to Spirit Halloween and got some of the silly string and then fired the black silly string around a red leotard suit. That is our arañas. And they're in the forest. It's spiders well, in Spanish. One, one of Spider-Man's non- powers is not fashion. Spanish okay? speakers. <laughs> and I don't understand. The movie doesn't even know no one how understands. they work and what the, what the powers. It, it, some get strength if the spiders bite you. And, and some get the thread clairvoyance. Some get time travel powers. Because at a certain point in this film, Madam Webb can go back in time and hug her own mother and have an interaction with her mother, and it's actually happening. That is some fucking... What the fuck? I want that spider to bite me. My fucking Ezekiel has a spider bite him and all. What does he get? Super strength and the inability he gets to super strength. Walls. He gets crawls, That's and if it. he touches you for Poison. too long, you get poisoned. And I think he can do that at will because he... How come he, he got does, three? He does have sex with that older lady, and we'll, we'll get to that. And How what? come he got three powers? She only know. got one. Because that one is... A f- None of it makes sense, Joe. And in this universe, they don't say how those three teenage girls get their powers. Is Madam Web going to one day, like, uh, you know, surprise! And a bunch of spiders pop out and start biting all the girls and give them all the Once various they come powers. Because Sydney Sweeney has fucking Kamehameha's and, and the, 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 uh, the other spider woman has the power of Afros and she met uh, Tony Stark at one time. Or... Uh, Antonio Starch, and he made her the shitty fucking uh, spider CGI legs no, that are embarrassing. When they come of age, they all get they're little all, spiders. They're, they're made of plastic. You. Pass it around. Let and it then the you. other one is <laughs> Araña Corazón, and she has the powers spider of not heart? being deported. <laughs> Where is uh. she? I need a drink for that one. This is a terrible movie. <sighs> Um, so yeah, the movie never suck. establishes no. why, how are all these powers? Uh, okay. So her mother's in the forest yes. doing this. It turns out that she doesn't really hate her daughter, even though there's no reason for her to think that her mother hated her, but she thinks her mother hated her because why would you go into the Amazon forest when you're one month away from having a birth? Okay. Well, she did it because Why? Because she has so, the baby had the baby. some rare medical condition, and the life expectancy was not going to be good. And she said, "Well, but there's some experimental stuff going on in the Amazon, and I can get them peptides, and the baby will be okay." Well, uh, so she goes into the forest, not alone. She's got a whole fucking survey team with her, with multiple tents. But Ezekiel goes with her, and as soon as she finds the spider that she needs, uh, Ezekiel shoots everybody, takes the spider. And then the arañas show up because it's like, how dare you shoot a, a woman? They didn't give a fuck when they were shooting all the other natives who probably live in that country. They're all, oh, fuck you. you know, if some white woman comes to our country and they're, they're too takes one of our spiders that you're not supposed to be fucking with and taking, we're going to show up and save her because... We, because... Because we need Cassie Webb. Because, because I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know so then why they, they take didn't, her. Why they did they mother. stop Ezekiel? They know how powerful <laughs> that spider is. Why did they exactly, Joe? They why are the Aranya so fucking stupid? I'm about to explain how they're so stupid. So then they take the mother and they throw her in spider cum. 
because there's cloudy liquid. There's a cloudy liquid pool that's never explained. It's a pool of cloudy liquid. It's I guess it's spider cum. And then he says, and then she gives birth, and the baby is born. Or no, first a spider. The spider he lets a spider it. bite yes. her, giving her the giving her mother the powers to give birth to the baby. And it goes. Yes. And so this bite, and then the baby almost simultaneous, and then the baby floats in the spider cloudy liquid, I and would, she's got it's powers. Soon, like once she gets bitten, the baby pops out. I was like, wait, don't that you need more? You need more you need time. time for no, the point. They, the they hadn't cut the umbilical cord yet. <laughs> <laughs> you need more time. It's so stupid. You need because even with the poison, it's like soaking in. It's like you better hurry. Tell me the yeah. passcode. <laughs> They're like, oh, spider bite, baby's Wait out. A <laughs> well, the baby okay, we'll the get this. I'll let you explain that one. But so the baby comes out, and then so and then he he once the baby's born, he'll be like, this baby will be back to ask me questions in Act Three. He literally he says He knows that. the future. He That's one of his powers. <laughs> Maybe he I'll has the power that. of threads, I'll explain too. that one. <laughs> no, no. He, <laughs> so, the, the power of threads is super rare. He actually doesn't know. Yeah, so... Yeah, but he, Adam Webb is the only one with these powers. Because you have to get the Viking have, Blade. He might have clairvoyance, Alex. It's never explained. So, anyway, he holds it. And then, after he says that, he holds the baby here. And he holds the baby just out of reach of her mother as she tries to touch her own baby before oh. she dies. And he never goes like this. He just holds it right here. What a fucking dick. And then and then she dies. And she manages to brush its arm and then dies. And that that is the Ranyas. Why don't they go after Ezekiel Joe? Didn't they attack him after he shot all the people and started running? He sees the uh, bushes, they or the him. trees moving, and yeah, yeah, we they, never they, see they what happens him, but, there. But again, he does not have the powers. They could just take just it take away him. from him and stop him. Stop the fighter. There's, There's like stronger, four Spider Man faster running through uh, Spider People. Spider, spider People. We don't call men. Spider Man. Spider pe men. People. You can't use Spider that Guys. Word. Why can't I? This is Sony. <laughs> no, no. I, I can use Spider Man. Sony's like that shit is mine, Marvel, they don't, they... and I'm never giving it up. But in their own movies, That's they don't it. even want to mention the name Spider Man. They know what they've got here. They don't yes. want to tarnish the good name of Spider Man with the, whatever this was. So yeah. So they just stop giving chase, and they don't go after the guy that stole their sacred spiders. Yeah. All right. Back in the city, she starts to sense her powers, and it is so <laughs> annoying. The sound mix here, I don't know if it was our theater, but every time it go. <laughs> and I, we were like, uh, I thought I was watching, uh, like, some exorcist bullshit, like uh, the exorcist believe or whatever, the last one. Because it's yeah. just done by, like, loud noises. Loud noises. Out of nowhere. And then, in addition to the loud noises, it will replay the last 10 seconds of whatever we saw. And we're like, oh, okay, I get it. Cool. And then it replays the last 10 seconds that That's we saw. It. This movie's and only I was 30 like, minutes. Oh, okay, we get it. That's cool. <laughs> And then it replays the last yeah. 10 seconds of whatever we saw. And I go, wow, okay, that's pretty cool. I get and it. And then it plays the last 10 seconds of whatever we saw. And I said, oh, wow, that's yeah. actually pretty cool. And then it replays the last 10. I'm <laughs> what the fuck? Well, just in case you didn't get it, she starts playing a Christmas carol. And Ebenezer Scrooge is talking about yes. And then over and over and over is like, is this future destined or can I change it? Is this future destined or Why can I change it? Why do they do it? stupid shit? like that because if you're watching madam web you're an idiot and sony knows that they need to explain the <laughs> but story Alex, we watch madam web <laughs> yeah but we were forced to watch madam web <laughs> there were four people in our theater yeah. four people and there was people behind us they would like at one point granted maybe... movies don't come out wednesdays yeah i guess it came out on a wednesday because of valentine's day and they're like this is going to be the great date movie if you want to break up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, hey, did you? Yeah, that's a great thing. I did saw you... our future. It's not going to work out, babe. Get yeah. out of here. <laughs> yeah. oh. uh, so, back in the city, she starts to sense these powers. It gets annoying. And then Mike Epps dies. Fuck Mike Epps. I, fuck guy's an asshole. I'm a Shannon Sharp fan, so I don't fuck, fuck that guy. <laughs> And uh, are they're, squ they're quashing their beef or something right now. Anyways, uh, subway. Mm. subway scene happens. Uh Joe, take us through the subway scene. <clears throat> we see it in the trailer. Everyone starts lining up. It's like, she... Well, before that, we get the scene where the guy uh, seduces mm. the NSA lady. Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so we, we need, we need that. 
because uh, it sets up the next scene. He starts going to the opera. He's like, hey, come back to my place. Let's uh, mess around. They mess around. <laughs> and afterwards, he's like, oh, these three girls that see my dreams. They keep trying to kill me. I see them every time. Yeah, he explains like, to his, his, yeah, some his random, side bitch. Yeah, whatever. He's like, all right. Some random Who is sleeping so, in her bra. Yes. Yeah. It's a PG movie. Just, Anyways, uh, he knows what she does. So he touches her. He's like, hey, I just poisoned you. It's going to go all the way to your lips. I'll give you the cure. Give me your passcode for your NSA clearance. Mm -hmm. She gives it to him. It's, and it's Into just... your gag. <laughs> well, oh, shocker. Like, the uh, bad man is bad. <laughs> I wouldn't fucking do it. He's like, oh, kill give, me. All right. Give me your password. <laughs> I can't the, do his she, accent. She's like, I want to do his accent. It's like Hispanic slash French slash unintelligible. Yeah. And, and that's like, what she's like. I don't. Understand you. <laughs> I need your password. <laughs> your password. So, so uh, it's not just the NSA. Apparently, the, she is in charge of a super secret program that has new advanced technology that uh, we later see in the film. It is so pathetic. Uh, there's like a computer with six screens. They ran out of budget. It's 2003. It brings, yeah. Okay. It's 2003. <laughs> okay, it's 2003. But anyway, it can, it can see every single camera. It can even change street lights on the whim. So he uses this technology to track down the girls in his dreams. Yes, we they all how start can you going... translate the fucking faces from your dream to the exact pictures of them? It, I guess he hired one of those sketch artists. I didn't care at all. I so didn't care at all. Everyone's but, going but, but, to this... Uh, Wait, wait, because uh, uh, the 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 it's, okay, go Joe, go go. <laughs> <laughs> so he gets all the passcodes and whatever, and he sees all the ca they get uh, all the cameras, and they notice all three girls are going to the same subway. It's like, what's going on here? Oh, yeah. It's coincidence. Like, no, this is probably from the future, and this is how they get their power, and they don't take into account obviously, Madam Web. And he's like, all right, they're all in the same train. I'm going to go kill them. And then Madame mm -hmm. Webb shows up. He's like, hey, we're all here for a reason. And we get a playback. And another playback. Yeah, so that, so we already playback. had this scene. And another playback. We had this scene once already in her apartment with a bird killing itself on her window. We had this scene in another location. We had this scene with her uh, fire department commander who gets killed. In, Mike Epps who gets killed in an ambulance. And then we have this scene here, and they replay it like three or four or five times. For each of their deaths, We yes. get it. What are you doing? Well, Padding. if you're watching you Madam Web, you you're an idiot. So they have to really, <laughs> really explain it for the dumb people. Okay, yeah. so Alex, take it over here. Uh, and motherfuckers then, walking through the subway. So three teen girls and who are have shown to be that you know they don't take shit from nobody. This <laughs> this one lady walks up to them and says, "Get out!" And they go, "Okay." And then they follow her, <laughs> and they're like, "This guy's trying to kill you." And they go, "Okay." And then, uh, <laughs> well, no, the, the spider other, people. The one, the spider woman said, "I'm not going nowhere," but she steals her skateboard, skateboard and then she's got to go. And then she just for forever, she's like, "Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow you." And then spider person shows up and he kills some cops and he, he they're like, "Oh God, there's a spider guy. He's on the but, ceiling." Yeah, the, then, the girls go ahead. Yeah, and then they. They just get in. She steals a taxi, and the girls are fine with that. And then she takes it to the woods. <laughs> girls are also fine with that. Um, <laughs> no, I'm going to reverse a little bit. Because <laughs> that is what happens. Uh, she's like, why would we follow you any further? And she's like, because of that. And then you get the spider crawling scene of, yeah. uh, you know, black suited Superman people. coming at them. But instead, they, as they're running, they're like, oh, this girl captured us, or kidnapped us to the police. So now the police are involved as well, and the police are trying to stop them. Oh, where does that go in the story? It doesn't go anywhere. Oh. Well, it does, later on, there's one mention of it because they can't go to the police because they think they kidnapped her, even though you can go to the police and explain we no, were can't, not they, kidnapped. They can't go to the police because she'll get deported. Well, that's why you leave the illegal in the hotel mm -hmm. and you take the two white girl or the white and the black girl to the cops and you say, we are being chased. We are going to die. <laughs> and don't even no. mention the illegal. No, Anyways. You can't do that because Ezekiel's smart and he's infiltrated. But if you notice how the cops, the, I'm like, cops don't work that way. <clears throat> when shit is going down and cops show up into the scene, 
Like, they don't know what is happening. They don't know who is the bad guy and who is it. So, I don't know. In real life, because me and Joe, I don't, well, well, Joe, like, we have been stopped by the cops, guns drawn on us because we were, you know, uh, doing a Far Cry review and we had our, <laughs> we beat guns and shit. We were a lot younger, like, like 10 years ago. Cops don't give a fuck. They don't just let you go by. It's, oh, okay. It's a white girl and, you know, that. This one looks safe, and this one looks There's nice. There's a color chart, and they're like, mm, <laughs> yeah. pass, pass, you two check. can go. <laughs> yeah. You two. Right, y'all got to say. It. <laughs> but they just let these ladies go by, you know, as if they automatically know that mm -hmm. they are the targets and victims, and this guy is a crazy person. So anyways, yeah. So He's crawling on the wall. He's a spider person. Person. But Spider-Man, he's a Ziki. No, no. Mm -mm. He's barefoot Spider-Man. They never come. Yeah, well, wear some fucking shoes, gross asshole. Yeah. Like, <laughs> he can wear socks at the very least. You're going to get worms. Well, Alex, is so he can cling to the wall. Yeah, every other Spider-Person can cling to the walls wearing foot coverings, too. True. You're going to get fucking worms. It's mm -hmm. nasty. Well, he did that in the comics. Have you so been to New why. York? Like, yeah, that's gross. Yeah, you're you're pe stepping pe on piss and shit. P piss, shit, I'm, and rat. Other, uh, other things. Look at that dog. He's like, a fucking rat. That's <laughs> not a fucking dog. Yeah, <laughs> a rat taking that yeah. pizza. It's fucking cute. That would be sweet. Did you ever see a rat take a pizza? I've never. I've seen, seen them that. take random food. The, the video online. Huge. Anyway, so Alex, so yeah. They yeah, then they go out to the woods, and the girls are like, this is totally normal. And then Cassie <laughs> says, I'm going to abandon you in the woods for three hours. <laughs> You three I was girls. Like what? I've taken you to New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> she and they're like, she's trying to protect us. Yeah, and so she leaves these three girls in the woods of New Jersey. It would have been dark. Uh, well, Cold. it gets it gets dark, and then she drives back to get her mom's diary. Who she's had this her whole life. She's never read it. Apparently, yeah. This girl's never been interested about her mother ever, yeah. and she's like, "Oh my god!" Just now, I'm spiders. And then she starts looking through her things, and she could have done that with the girls. The funniest part of the whole movie is coming up. We can't skip over this part where she's <laughs> like, "Man, the there's these Peruvian spider people that could exist, and they can climb on walls, and it's definitely not the cocaine." And uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> So, and then she walks into exactly the wall. That's what it is. <laughs> Look, no, if you're, no, if you're no. in Peru and you're feeling like you're climbing on the walls. <laughs> the arañas aren't real. Yeah. They just they think you climb on walls. <laughs> so you they see these guys hugging in red trees, suits hugging and trees. Like, Jesus Christ, but they're like moving trying. their arms really fast. You guys, check me out. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> and so she sticks her hand to the wall and then she does a little jump. And then it makes oh, the this whole theater was supposed to laugh. She's like, how do I know that I can't? And then so she slides down this wall and it makes like the squeegee sound. But the it entire should way. make that noise. And it really, it's really it, fucking Joe. bothered him. Joe, I will defend this. If you put a lot of lemon pledge on the wood. No, no. Do it right now. Do it right now. But it's not, it's not wood. <laughs> I got no wood right here. It was well, she didn't either be because it was a painted wall. Exactly. All right. And so there was wood on. I hate when there's like laugh. stupid noises. It's like somebody has like a drink. It's a full drink. Like, why? Why are you slurping? There's nothing. It's a it's full, a full drink. drink. There's yeah. no slurp. It's, that's, that's how bored uh, I was. Joe got mad at the sound guy for including the squeegee yeah, noise. Was... Please laugh. Please clap. Yeah. Nobody in the theater. Oh, but then she Don't goes she back do. to the forest. But whoa, the girls aren't there because the girls apparently their their hiding spot was only half a mile away from a diner. <laughs> <laughs> and then they go to the diner, and then they order everything on the menu. And even though that these are tiny, 110-pound teen girls, they order, like, so many entrees. And they're doing the thing where, you know, in movies, people don't actually eat. You know, they, they put something in their mouth, and they spit it out. Keep it coming. It's like, I, you I, don't need that much. I'm it glad you noticed that. It bothers, it bothers me, me because it's like, oh, it keeps... See? They keep, it bothers they keep, you. Yeah, so now there's a little pet peeve <laughs> Yeah, they, they, they keep, like, trying to eat stuff, and, like, all the food's getting cold, and it's terrible. And then like, one Nobody of the, eats like that. Nobody takes one fry and eats one, half an inch from that one. And then takes another fry yeah. and eats half an inch from that one. And then they decide that because Britney Spears Toxic comes on, even though one of them's in a skirt, they're going to table dance for those boys. Mm -hmm. And it's like those football boys in the corner. Why? Yeah. 
Because they're teenagers, Joe. That's what teen girls do. They table dance in a diner, and there's not a, a Even large one waitress. one of them is a nerd and, and, is, and is scared of everything, and she's immediately convinced because she's goaded into it. See, Sydney this is character. where she breaks over shell, Joe. She's coming out. Where's the waitress to go, yo, bitch, get, get the, the fuck, fuck off the table? Have you ever yeah. been to a small diner like that? They yeah. would yell at they you. Yell She'll at put, the waitress will put her cigarette out on you while yanking <laughs> you off the table. Here's another... Weird thing, uh, uh, amongst the, oh, I mean, uh, the pile of shit. Out of beer, I brought multiple beers. <clears throat> okay, beers. so um, the girls walk across. She's like, "Oh, the girls left." So she walks across. She gets there in the nick of time. Yeah, of course. Okay, no, she and does not get there in the for nick the most of part, time. For the most she, part, the first time she actually gets there late. And Ezekiel shows up to the diner. Not too late. She's still there, though. snaps. But she's there. No, she's there. She's, she's there. there before oh. he Before he is. Okay. okay. And then they all die. Yeah. And then she gets a flashback. No, not this time. She gets in her car. 30 minutes later, gets in. Yeah, what is, wait a minute. Way what before. Is that? I was like, wait. It was quicker so the first time for you, you to were get that you beat Ezekiel. You beat Second him. time. You get in a car <laughs> and you drive there. <laughs> But it's you, you yeah. Ezekiel Toxic beats you. a long you. song, okay? Ezekiel it's beats you there song. when you're in your fucking car. And what's weird is when she's driving in this taxi that she finds. That she stole. That she stole. The Toxic song is cutting in and out because she's going too far away. Well, because New Jersey is a shithole. Uh, <laughs> and so the radio signal doesn't work. Actually, there's a really great uh, deli in Edison, New Jersey. That All makes right. Pastrami All sandwiches right, that are like this big. Look, you ain't got no something. time for this. Yeah, but the, like seriously, I think it's called Al's. Al's has pastrami sandwiches like this fucking big. Uh, <laughs> okay, so then Edison, she's... Jersey. So the second time. But, I'm just saying, that doesn't time. make sense. She could have just ran. Right. She could have ran. But what is she going to do, Joe? She needed to get the car in order to ram his ass with the car. That's why she did it. But I still agree with you. It makes no fucking sense how she gets, she gets there, this car. Runs. Gets there a little bit faster. Zeke's not there yet. Girls, get the fuck off the table. We'll run out the back. Mm -hmm. Let's run. Right. Yeah, but she, I guess she wanted to hurt him. So she she slams into him with a car. And then she gets poisoned. through the diner. He touches her arm as he's like all knocked out. Uh, Harold's. By the way, Harold, Harold Stelly, <laughs> and uh, then she. So then they get in the car and they mm -hmm. fucking drive off. By the way, this diner never calls the police, never says there's a taxi that slammed into my fucking. And then she comes they, back to the scene of the crime later on. They kind of did. Okay. Oh, well, so no, this, is, this is actually the thing that I was like, look, this is stupid, even for this movie. Yes. The same day that they they escape the subway system, like the the Madam Web has quote-unquote kidnapped these three girls that evening they end up in the diner in new jersey and already the daily bugle has a thing that says like three girls kidnapped so they have printed oh, the, the news paper the print they, pr they, printed, they printed and just and the, the paper and hours. got it all the way to the hellhole that is fucking new jersey well, well, well alex in just three hours 37 seconds ago when the actual battle went down in the subway and they left and they got into the taxi uh, on the radio, they are already announcing that uh, a, a woman, not a Spider-Man, uh, a Spider-Person, person, person. Uh, kidnapped three girls. It's like, but how? You saw the the Ezekiel and a bunch of cops died to Ezekiel. So why on the radio are they, they like this lady captured? That. Never explained. 100% plot hole. Did Ezekiel pay off the fucking police he, he, after he murdered 17 of them? Well, we have seen him and, and generic IT lady hack into police systems before. Yes. He probably used his Bluetooth thing oh, to be to like, hey, I'm looking for the these three, yeah, three things. So that could make sense. <laughs> but okay. printing the fucking but Daily never, Bugle and getting it to New Jersey can't happen. But they never show that. And then, then they follow it up with yeah. one of the truckers. Yeah, they kind of do. At the like, he's like, "All right, break me into the dispatch right." He's like, "Uh, we don't need backup. I'm, I got this myself." That They've sandwich. shown that before. Yeah, that's yeah, a good sandwich. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It, 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 Alex, it's, it's on you. Okay. Once the, then they go to the forest, and then she's like, "Hey, I can. Uh, I need to take you to a motel. We can't. You guys can't be dumb anymore." And she constantly says, "I'm going to abandon you over and over and over again." And you're trying to. They're trying to set up a character arc where uh, Madam Web's a shit. Mean shit-head. to them. And yeah. Then, but every single time she's mean to them, she's like, 
but I was abandoned by my mother who but hated then she me. She doesn't, and then she doesn't she, turn and around. She doesn't, you can tell she feels bad for yelling at me. And then she has this thing, an out-of-body experience, where somehow she goes to talk to Ezekiel, uh, and she gets all of the exposition. All of it. And he says, oh, these three girls are going to kill me, and I'm a spider person, and I can't let that happen, and you would do the same thing. And then she goes, how do you know that? And then we don't know where this scene happens. It's not the future. Like, it doesn't make any fucking sense. And then she wakes up and goes, you know what? I need to go to Peru. And then... Girls, uh, I'm glad that we're bonding, but now I need to go. to Peru. I have three photographs. And one of the girls just randomly knows, to Peru? And she goes, yeah, because yes. she read the script. Yeah. Uh, and so she has a hand-drawn little map, and she's got three photographs of a random river, a tree, and some <laughs> vines. And she's like, I know exactly where I By need to go. By yourself, goes into the Peruvian yeah. f- I would not. This I would, is it. I would 30 not years go. later, this tree has not grown. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And the, no other plants have grown. No, nope. Nothing else has happened. And Spot she walks on. by herself into the jungles of Peru, which is not where you want to go because um, nope. they grow stuff there that the people would... <laughs> You don't want to Probably be out, kill you you be out there. Look, yes. I love Peru, and uh, it is not a stable country. She brings uh, the three girls to Ben Parker, and she's like, take care of them. And he's like, aren't these – he doesn't say, aren't these the girls that have been kidnapped? Are, <laughs> are, am I now an accomplice to a kidnapping, <laughs> yeah. right? And the, all, those policemen actually died, so there's actually some murder charges going around. Yeah. How long and, do you think she was gone for? But ben a week. A she person. said it. Oh, she she said said week? She was spe- specifically one week. Okay. okay. So she goes into the forest, and I just as she enters the forest, as she passes the first plant, the guy is waiting there for her. The original Aranya guy. Who, the exposition who guy. said, you, who said the baby will come and visit me in the third act. And he goes, hello, baby. This is the third act. I will now exposition dump on you. And he takes a big old dump on her. Yeah. It's like, do you trust me? I she's guess like, so. she's like, I don't, I don't know you. I just met you. He's like, do way. you trust me? It's like we literally met three seconds ago in the forest. You're a mysterious man, and then he shoves her into her the spirit. pool of spider cum because he goes into the ca- cave, this cloudy water. He knocks her in there, which knocks her out of her body, creates a thread between her body and her uh, ethereal body. And then she slams into the yep. water, and when she's into the water, she gets flashbacks. She visits her mom. The first act in the past. Yeah, so she can time travel. Like these powers are so nondescript, not explained. It's confusing. I don't get it. It's threads. <laughs> but what is it? Threads. You know what I get? Okay, what can you do with them? Pepsi. Threads. Pepsi. They're I get. threads. <laughs> They're <laughs> fucking threads. That's Pepsi. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Drink a refreshing Pepsi when you start asking about the question. Mm, you know what I, I need right now? You know what's not confusing? Taco Bell. Pepsi. Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> <Quincy Okay>. <laughs> anyway, so, so yeah, yeah so she, she does that. She sees everything that happened. She sees her mom. She's like, no, I got to find this cure. And she sees Ezekiel. Oh, she didn't hate me. <clears throat> it's like, oh, no, why did she? Why was she here? And then she sees what Ezekiel did. And then she goes back further where she, her mom's like, when the doctor's like, well, my baby's going to be sick. I'm going to find a cure. So she didn't hate me. She loves me after all. And then she starts hugging her mom. Yeah, but why did she need to do all this? Because she had to discover her journey. She needs to, wo- she needs to open fix her, her wounds. When you meet a magical Indian man, uh, you have to go on a spirit quest. And she Tranny. went on a spirit quest. And then what he told her. Drugs. But not, he didn't tell any of us. <laughs> he had drugs. <laughs> he uh, was on drugs. <laughs> yeah. He's I, actually a Colombian drug lord. <laughs> yeah. Give the white girl a bunch of ayahuasca. Peruvian yeah. drug lord. It's like, yeah. how's your visions? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see anymore. What the fuck is he using? <laughs> but then we fast forward. Like, we're going to skip a bunch of shit that sucks. And then. Yeah. In the <laughs> final fight, she's about to lose, and then the uh, the Incan man goes. Once you accept responsibility, your powers will come to you. And he's repeating it like we've heard this before, and we had never heard this before. And so she like rises up, and she can make like time clones of herself to like go help the girls. I laughed at this part. I laughed. Okay, because all the girls were in danger, all three of them, and she's just there. It's like, I'm going to help him. So she starts making the clones. She's like, give me your hand. And this one's like, I'll cover you and whatever the fuck this one's doing. So she's just there standing and helping him. And Ezekiel's in front of her like, 
fuck is this bitch doing? I'm yeah. going to go punch her. <laughs> <laughs> and he punches her, and they all come back. I was like, the fuck did you think was going to happen? The bad guy's in front of you. Yeah. What, are you what are you doing? Well, that still helped her, Joe. She, no, it she, didn't. Yeah, it did. she, she didn't Those help girls, them. Yes, she did. No, Joe, she was still girl. stuck there. They're are still you finished. <laughs> they, they pull, they yank all the girls up with her. No, she they're was no they're still there. They're no longer about to fall. She all three still. girls are not still about to slip off and fall. When he punches her, the threads all yank them up with her when because she gets threads. blown back. Right, Alex? But I, I cannot pass that line. Which one? I, when you take responsibility, oh. you will gain powerful abilities. Yeah. That is the line. Yeah, and then so then she nobody makes... decided to say okay that all right that doesn't quite make sense that sounds like you know AI or Spanglish or some kind of uh, uh, error in translation. No, they go. You got it. Yeah, let's go. So with it. the the writers are like, I want to use the line. And they're like, what line? I want to use with great power comes great responsibility. No, nope. and then they're like, you can't say Spider Man and you can't use but that line. But they can. No, you can't. They're Sony. They made the fucking film. They're the ones that said with great power comes great responsibility. But in this one, they said, when you take responsibility, you will gain powerful abilities. Like a fucking fortune cookie. It's been bars. Yeah, that's, that's great. It's like our, our it's like something that we would do for our things. It's like, <laughs> that's like Robocop. Yeah, yeah. Our version of Robocop when Joe comes in. Wound, come uh, quietly. Wounded or gravely wounded. <laughs> come with me. Yeah. <laughs> Approach my direction. <laughs> so, yeah, it was it was fun. And that at that moment she made the decision to very illegally adopt all three girls yes. as her own. And then we go the rest of the movie and she's apparently like two of them actually have parents you well, actually all of them have parents that are alive and that, and like want them. And then one of a fucking rich kid. Yeah, and then the, but then they, she just adopted them. And then she has like a cool apartment and like a robo chair. Do you think she just goes like the, the, the winning lotto numbers are and then that's how she gets her money? How did, it is illegal. She does have parents. One she does. Go China. save. Go get one your dad. Parents. Go get your dad one, back. One, 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 one parent was deported. She doesn't care about her father. The other one. Your is, father was deported. Now you have a powerful superhero lady as your caretaker. Are you going to go talk to your father? It's, it's not his fault. I think the only one was like, I guess the worst one was like Julian, whatever. Her mom went insane and her dad and new girlfriend don't want her. Okay. Yeah. The other one is Sydney like, Sweeney's my character. parents are super rich. They just leave me in the house by myself. That's it. Yeah, that's it. How sad. She adapts them. It's fine. Julia Carpenter. And because she's accept responsibility. That she's given but all of her cool powers. Did she get on the wheelchair because she fell in the water? Why don't we or skip all it... the stupid shit? I'm up to, it's the video's too long anyway. I have it to is. break it into two. Oh, parts. okay. Well, so, so let's go back. We haven't. So, so what? Well, comes... at, at this point in the movie, the writers have realized that Pepsi has said, "No, <laughs> motherfucker." Three product placements, and they're like, "Fuck! <laughs> how do we bring Pepsi back in there?" They're like, "Hey, you remember that?" Firework factory with the Pepsi sign on it. Oh, or like, thank how, you. How could we forget that there was a firework factory with a Pepsi sign Why? on it? We need to lure Why? the spider person. How do you think Pepsi gets their explosive flavors? Fireworks. Fire. Pepsi. It's a firework <laughs> in your mouth. <laughs> We're not joking. The final act of the film, it's for no Pepsi reason. Cola. For no reason, the girls go to a factory. A firework factory. A firework factory with... Bundles and bundles of, of fireworks in boxes at, with PepsiCo on the logo. Yeah. So Peter Parker's about to be born. This is a whole thing. Uh, so Peter Parker's mom is there, and uh, Ben is there supporting his brother's wife. And she, her water breaks. And then they all have to go to the hospital. But this is how Ezekiel finds them. Uh, you shouldn't have done that because one of the spider women sticks her head out the window as they're driving around. Yeah, and all the and cameras. And that gets picked up by this generic lady who is never explained. Why do they put the pregnant lady in the back seat? Like those old school Airbags. cars? Oh, but I guess I can hardly have You have to like put yeah. it back there. It's like you have to squeeze on the back. <laughs> yeah. She's like, Give her the because front it was seat. It, because because Julia Carpenter looked helpful. She was like, "Here, come in the car." And Why the are you even going with her? There's no reason for you to go with her. 
She goes in the front. Ben goes next to her. You drive to the hospital. Stay here, girls. You're literally putting the pregnant lady at risk if you're fugitives and criminals of getting pulled over. Well, she's going to die anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay. We know she dies. <gasps> That's Spoiler. Sucks. Yeah. Uh, and so they're driving through the city, but this just happens to be the day that Madam Webb comes back. And she drives her car. Apparently, in New York, all of the buildings are hollow, and there's car ramps in there. She drives her <laughs> car through a building, and like, it, wait, wait, this is like a right. this is like a department store building, and she like drives her car so out. She and murdered everybody inside the building. There was a nice little ramp, and she just knows because she's got the power of stupid that Spider Person is going to be jumping or something, and she like slams into Spider Person. He would have, she would have gone directly over his head because he lands on the so he sees them on the fucking monitor with the tech lady, and he goes after them, and he's jumping, and then he yeah. manages to jump on the car and ben, ben Parker's like what the hell by the way did you know that my uh, uh, nephew is going to be Spider-Man <laughs> anyways so he lands on it and then they're like oh no we're screwed and just then the music swells dun, 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 dun. <laughs> she comes out of a building <laughs> she, her, ca her, her car explodes out of a building and she hits Spider-Person out of an apartment complex <laughs> yeah and <laughs> And then she hits him, and he was about to use a grenade to blow all these but, people but up. But it would have gone over his head, and he could have just been like... Yeah. <laughs> but for no reason, he jumps up into the air simultaneously as the, the ambulance comes. So that they, Sweet shot. She knew that was going to happen. She knew that he had a tendency to jump anytime he got scared. Yeah. So then he jumps, and then she slams. Oh, it's whole hilarious. And then she gets in an ambulance, and then she says, girls, come with me. Uh, ben Parker and the unnamed baby will be fine because we can't even say... Peter Parker. They don't what even. Is with they can't this? say Spider Man. It Peter Parker. It feels like they can't say it. Yeah, but they own the rights, so Spider they can. People. Yeah, maybe they, maybe if they use the name and the character, like Marvel gets more of a cut or something. Maybe, but they don't do shit. No. And so they just abandon the baby, and they're fine. And then they drive away, and she's like, "Hey, use the defibrillator." And when he jumps on the top, I'll tell you when, and you shock the ceiling. So she uses her clairvoyance powers, leapfrogging. As soon as he leapfrogs on the top of the fucking Zapping. ambulance. Zap, but it's like yellow lightning. I don't understand like the effects department and when they're doing this stupid I, shit. I don't think it's a department. It's probably like some guy. It's yeah. like, hey, on I know after we're effects. Yeah, we're not gonna pay uh, you. We're a low lot. on time, yeah. so that's fine. Go Sony, bad. Pepsi didn't give us very much Fucking money, bad. so we'll pay you in Mountain Dew <laughs> and uh, and Taco Bell. So yeah, they knock him off, and then what? Then uh, they go to the Pepsi factory. Really? I'm like, how do they get from, like, drive to the police headquarters? Go somewhere helpful. But because Ezekiel she's like, has I have an idea. eyes we everywhere. We haven't said Pepsi in a long enough period of time, and we are contractually obligated to remind you. I that. have an idea. So she goes to the firework factory with the Pepsi logo on the outside. And we see it. But she takes it. a bunch of flares with her. But we see it play out. We see what Before play she even gets it. Yeah, the, the, oh, all the fireworks. Because right. remember, we see in, in very poorly. Like it's as if there's like a. It's as if you're looking through one of the lenses on a Spider-Man costume, and you're turning the lens. It's just I hate it. It's ugly. So this building that is already burned down. Uh, so it's fine. this building is already burned down, by the way. But it's fine. And it's oh, filled with right. fireworks, yeah. and none of the fireworks went off. None of them. Why? why and they are did fireworks being stored in an abandoned, broken building. Yeah, and then why weren't the fireworks removed after the building got put out? And then they just light these fireworks, and they immediately all go up immediately because. So that's that trailer shot that you see, where it's like, oh, he's doing the Spider-Man pose in the air, yeah. you know, and as as the as this cheap, you know, fireworks effects go off. But these aren't normal fireworks. I'll these are you. RPGs. I have never seen a movie that that the logic is at this point. This the one. writers <laughs> are just like fuck it. They're running from him, and and the girls go, "We're running right into a brick wall." And she goes, "Don't worry, duck." And the girls duck as they're running straight into a brick wall. And just then, a little streamer goes by. And it slams into. <laughs> you see, I did the that. Cheap ass wall. <laughs> it slams into the wall, and the wall explodes 
bricks go every direction. I would excuse <laughs> and a it. a nice little acme hole gets created in the brick wall or the lower brick wall and they slide under They, they should have just been like, these aren't bricks at all. This is styrofoam. <laughs> okay, I believe you. It's the styrofoam factory <laughs> that make fake bricks I made out of you. styrofoam. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe my eyes. And they, then, they expected yeah. us to take it seriously. But it doesn't end there. A firework slammed in the wall, and instead of going, <laughs> it goes, <laughs> and so they get out, but then they go to the roof. And when they're on the roof, the fireworks don't <laughs> stop fireworking. No. And so they're all the roof. Industrial fireworks. Industrial fireworks. The roof is being blown to pieces. The whole, they, they called the helicopter to save them. Mm -hmm. And so the, the entire last 15 minutes of this movie is... It takes place under a giant sign that says Pepsi Cola. It's actually <laughs> what kills slash saves the bad guy. Is the a S? Yeah, <laughs> and Pepsi. Pepsi saves the day. Yeah. Go ahead. And she so, sees that S that whole time. Yeah, and so she calls. She's this. This bitch is clairvoyant, and she summons a helicopter, and then she doesn't see that the helicopter gets blown up. She saw the wrong so something web. Else, so how does that make sense? She saw the so wrong her powers web. stopped working in that moment? Maybe she hadn't accepted responsibility yet. <laughs> she and hadn't then, accepted full responsibility. Uh, yeah. Once you leave, so that's the ancient Eakin way. It's like once you accept full legal responsibility for these for these girls, <laughs> then you'll accept you'll your You'll gain powerful you'll, abilities. Yeah. Well, oh, okay, okay, so our abilities weren't that powerful because she didn't accept full responsibility and one of the roof explosions had another random streamer go it's like, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm challenging the sound we should just replace the sound in post and it hits the helicopter tail and the helicopter explodes yeah. so now they have no way off this roof and the fireworks are still going off they're all gonna die and guess what Ezekiel shows up he's chasing them they have no way of getting out one girl uh, oh uh, he knocks the girls aside and he goes after Dakota and the, and the girls say, no, that's our new mama. And they run at, uh, uh, Julia Carpenter runs at her, run, runs at Ezekiel for no reason. Gets her ass punches her. <laughs> She falls down. They all lose. And they all lose. They all get knocked into, and then they're about to slip. And then the movie, the, the music swells. And and or, by the way, she had already looked at the S. That's that's been set up. This has nothing we, to do yeah, with. She's constantly it, looking at the Pepsi sign. Nothing to do with that. Well, she's constantly looking at a Pepsi sign. She's like, <laughs> well, that's the first huh. thing, the first vision she gets whenever right. she starts drowning. So too. then she, the music swells, and she goes, <laughs> and she goes, Spider Jesus, and she is floating in the air. And I guess the the special effect is supposed to be a white spider ball, but an ethereal. Uh, 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 an ethereal, oh. uh, erythral. Yeah. Wait, wait, erythral. Yeah. No, uh. yes, an erythral spider ball. <laughs> the, the effects and and the the little threads go and touch one of the girls who's about to slip, and it's her. So she can project herself in multiple Ezekiel places just there watching. because she took responsibility, Joe. But Ezekiel this is what there. I try to tell. But you can only when make I get into three. arguments with my girlfriend, look, you, we, you need to take responsibility. <laughs> no, And you will gain powerful abilities. That's all I have to say next time we get into an argument. You're not taking what? responsibility. <laughs> Don't you, you want like, powerful what? abilities? You will gain... You will gain threads. Right, Alex? That's what happened. So she was able to astral project three? Only three. Three. Oh, yeah, all she needed was three. three Her powers are glasses. infinite, but she can only make three. And she pulls. Right, because she could have put the fourth and distracted Ezekiel. Oh, I'm right here. Oh, what are you going to. And he's going to, like, punch her, but he can't punch her because she's ethereal, urethral. <laughs> yeah. But she doesn't. She does three, and then he's like. Okay, you're doing this right in front. She's like, <laughs> he's staring. Because he goes, like, she looking at me? What the fuck is he doing? So he All right, I'm tired of this shit. He punches her, and then I guess, okay. then she gets sucked. Right. She flies backward, and the, the threads get pulled. So they simultaneously save the girls. They get thrown into a different area. And then she falls, and Ezekiel's like, I'm going to finish you. You know, I'm going to kill you. And she's like, yeah. Oh, that stuff you saw, it wasn't them that was changing your future or something with your future. It was me. 
And he's like, he's about to kill her. But she keeps looking at the S because she wants to get him close enough because this S is in the Pepsi is about to fall. And I swear to God, there are like seven shots of her going. <laughs> I, if I was thinking about, all right, that's so what now, I was thinking. Like, fuck are you looking at? That's exactly what I was S. thinking. <laughs> Because it looks like you're looking at the S. And the movie is 17 shots of you looking at this S. And Ezekiel never looks over. He just continues walking and then he gets his ass beat. Maybe he thought that she was just staring at the Pepsi sign. Pepsi beats. Pepsi saves the day. Saves the day by beating Ezekiel. But in saving the day, it knocks our Madam Web into the river. Yeah. And but it's a good thing in a super awkward moment pre Peru, she teaches the girls CPR. uh, Because it's in the hotel. Because later on, she's like, "Hey, later on." That's how they bonded through CPR. Through, she goes, wow, you're a good teacher. I've never said this before, but you're a good teacher. She yeah. barely did anything. She didn't do anything. She said, just keep the rhythm. Wow, you're a good. Feel teacher. the rhythm. Feel the rhyme. It's but so alive, she falls. Like she the falls animals. into the huh? the, the uh. water, <laughs> and it's like, okay, well, yeah, it probably hurts when you go wa- back in the water, and it was like maybe twenty three feet, and she's going like this. <laughs> but wait, there's more. <laughs> Those fireworks! <laughs> Industrial fireworks. Those, they do you noise? Those. <laughs> Ow! But a ah. firework not only can destroy brick walls, but it can go into water and then go about 20 feet under the water while still flaming and on fire mm-hmm. and with the same amount of velocity oh. and power. I can't see. <laughs> Hits her in the eyes. Because the they were like, oh wait a minute, in this cover art, she's blind or something. Should we? <clears throat> oh fuck! Did you write that in? No, I didn't write. Okay, uh, the firework. It's slam a firework in her mm. eye. Guys, like guys over there eating a donut, really? A fucking firework? <laughs> yeah. Get him out of here! You're fired. No, that guy was fired. Exactly. Right. <laughs> what? All right. That's stupid. <laughs> That's stupid. You you said our film is stupid. You're fired. But I don't know. I don't know. Is that how she got it in the comics? I don't know. For the Who cares? For the for Madam Web, did she get her power? If, her blindness. If that was from the way, she looks be fucking stupid fuck. here. It though. was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and then it effortlessly blows the. <laughs> and so she, when she comes out of the water, all the girls jump in after her to save her. And then we cut to the next scene, and she's in the hospital, and she's got these huge fucking things on her on her face because yeah. her eyes have been destroyed. And the nurse comes in and is like, hey, immediate family only. And then this girl goes, We're the, family. The, they're all my family. They're all mine. And then no high one asks no any questions. High adopt fives them. are lame. No one asks any questions. But high fives are cool. Bro. And that was another running joke that you don't. high fives are not cool, so we're not doing that. I used to do it back in the day. I still do it now. Girls love cool. it when you give them high fives. Do you think? Yeah, know. you just pick up chicks all the time. Oh, yeah. And then, I'm now you're mine. <laughs> Wait, Is that how you do it? What? That's how Madam Webb does it. <laughs> anyway, she says that they're mine, even though they're, they've got parents and there's laws in the United States and everything. But they're all living together in a New York in her New York pad, and it turns out she's got the same kind of window plane glass that we've seen in Batman. comics and things. Was it and Birds of Prey? Like that. And she is in the. It is so <laughs> embarrassing when she turns around and she's in this wheelchair and it's like. With this terrible glass. <laughs> <laughs> Looks real bad. Oh, uh, yes, Kung Pao Chicken. <laughs> I knew you had Kung Pao Chicken. <laughs> What is this? That's what Great. she uses her powers for. I lost, I lost my vision for you fucking annoying teenagers. She sees better than before. Oh she no! Doesn't. What I is the most embarrassing thing is when uh, it, it flashes forward like however many years is necessary, where all of them have their powers. Oh yeah! And then you see the three girls that we've seen from the, but then you see Madame Web in her horrible fucking outfit with these giant fucking 1992 Hulk Hogan like <laughs> fully reflective glasses. I want to see that image again. It is so bad. I want to see it again. Again, it's just like constantly <gasps> being embarrassed. Madame Web was right. What? You gonna see this again? <laughs> I just oh. want to see that image again. No. <laughs> and then she says, "When you take responsibility, you will gain powerful <laughs> abilities." And then the credits smash. She doesn't say. See, that, but I wish she did. The end credit should have been like her saying that to Ben, and then the end, and then Ben's like, 
Yeah, that's pretty good. Has right potential, down. but has maybe potential. if I, I can fix it. make it sound English. You know what? <laughs> With great <laughs> power comes great responsibility. You can't say that. Oh, okay. Well, This one brain-damaged lady. <laughs> this one brain-damaged blind lady once spoke to me. She said something. I can't remember what it was, but I'll, I'll paraphrase. With great power comes great responsibility. She also giggled when she told me that my brother and sister-in-law would die. It was weird. <laughs> no, she didn't. Did she really? What would you do? Yeah, that's exactly what she did. She's like, hey, uh, ben, uh, Ben's but over there. But the way she said it, she's like, little does he know. Yeah. It's like, wait, it's you like, can't be. Little does he know what? That his... He's like, I'm done with this. I'm done with... What did Ben say? No, the girls no, no, no. The girls are like, oh, Ben is super happy. He gets to be an uncle. He has all of the fun and none of the responsibility. And she all goes, right. she goes he, 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 little does he know. And it's like, why are we laughing about his brother and his okay. sister-in-law dying? But she, that's not what she was talking about. She's talking about that she's going to have to raise that Peter Ben Parker. is. Yeah, because yeah. his brother and his sister-in-law are going to die. die. <laughs> like, that's the only reason he gets Peter is because his family dies. He, he, <laughs> little does the email. line delivery was bad. It yeah. was. Yes. I don't. I don't. I don't. Uh, there were so many bad decisions. Like every like single make time this movie. they could have made a, a, a decision <laughs> on something, uh, they took the bad one. Yes. So it is. I don't know. It is an it's amazing. Like, I had so much fun laughing with you guys. This Here, was, not oh, in the movie theater. Yes. I know. No, I Making would not fun watch this fucking shit again, Making fun man. of it. Don't watch it. Do not it's not as fun it, as not. we're making it appear to be now. It's so, It's fucking it, stupid. It was really bad. Yeah. And we've been drinking. We've been drinking there. And we've been drinking here. So that's it. Uh, I don't think this is going to do well in the theater. I, I don't think we'll be seeing a Madam Web 2. But who knows with Sony? Sony is so pathetic, uh, so desperate that it, Again, it's possible. The Morbius writers. They're calling their shit SSU now. The Sony Spider Man universe. Super suck. Spider Person universe. <laughs> su 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 super suck ass. <laughs> super suck. Is it SSA? What Uranus. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> but again, uh, like you like so you just next, said though, yeah. like the Morbius writers this is the fourth. went on to do this. Mm -hmm. They're gonna how? They're gonna continue making more no, shit. Right, no. Uh, honestly, after this, some people need to lo not lose their jobs, but or not that. be or lose their jobs, but just not be writing like Get them mega budgeted, Get them fully out. released, uh, you know, big <laughs> Spider-Man. See, what's crazy things. is like I don't give a Marvel. Fuck. Yeah, I don't give a fuck about anyone in this movie. Eighty million dollars. Mm -hmm. I don't care about Madam Web. Craven could be cool, but it's like they fucked up Venom for me, and they fucked yeah. up Carnage. And I like the first Venom. Mm -hmm. I hated I, the second. I one. see. I don't. I like. I don't even think. It was I, all right. I didn't like. Like they. They tried to replace all of the violence with comedy that yeah. didn't land. It's like Sony doesn't have it in them to to <clears> do what is necessary <throat> to make these movies good. No, nope. they don't have the talent behind them. So, I don't know. I, Disney probably can't. Disney just has to write him a check and just be like, look, stop it. You're damaging our IP. Wait. Uh, okay. But I, oh. I, I, was, I was like, uh, the Craven, the Hunters director is J.C. Chandor. And I was like, something. Eh? I think maybe it's that S one might be J. an average Clarkson one. Is this one. This one is J.C. Chandor. Yeah, but who wrote it? So, the next two are Craven, the Hunter, and Venom 3. Oh, in the Sony God, universe. Uh, so who wrote uh, Craven the Hunter? Screenwriters Art Markham, Matt Holloway, and Richard Wink. Wink. And Venom 3 is just one person, Kelly Marcel. That's so, who was involved in this one, though. Uh, let's see. Art Markham and Matt Holloway are a team. They are known for writing the scripts of Iron Man and Punisher Warzone. Okay. I like those. Craven the Hunter. Has more potential than uh, Richard Wank, Wank, Wank was Expendables 2 and the Equalizer film uh, series and the recent Magnificent Seven. So those three guys are on Craven the Hunter. Okay. And then for Kelly Marcel that's doing Venom 3, she did. She wrote the film Saving Mr. Banks, Fifty Shades of Grey, the first Venom, and its sequels Let There Be Carnage and the upcoming third film. No. Uh, Don't like them. No. no, you failed the first two. Marcel is the... Nepo baby direct is the daughter of director Terry Marcel Great. and actress Lindsay Brooke, and uh, and she's also <sighs> the older sister of actress Mo Rosie Marcel. Great, awesome, cool. 
Well, that's what's coming up next for the Sony Spider-Verse. This is going to fail and fail hard. It's going to bomb. Uh, I don't think that this film could get that Morbius meme no, from Reddit and from the internet. From, there's nothing memorable for right. this. Like the other one there's released, not going to be a campaign crazy, stupid stuff. to re-release this, yeah. uh, you know, unless you're doing one of those really bad movie marathons or something like that where Catwoman is in the rotation and then you watch this. How would you do that to yourself? And you debate oh. between which is worse, Catwoman or this. Let us know in the comments, which is worse, Catwoman or this. Um, but hopefully you haven't seen this. <laughs> Now, uh, just to show you the extent of depravity from uh, the Sony Spider-Man universe, other films in development, uh, Sony has scheduled an unspecified film to release in tw June 27th of 2025. Here is a list of known projects in development. The Sinister Six, Night Watch, Jackpot, uh, centered on the character Jackpot, uh, Untitled Robert or C Project, Untitled Olivia Wilde project. She wants to direct a female-centric Marvel film for Sony. Olivia Wilde and El Muerto, and with that guy Bad Bunny. Uh, you know that's still rumored from from Bullet Train, Hypno Hustler film, and various other projects. Jake Gyllenhaal said that he kind of wants to do something with <laughs> Mysterio or whatever. Anyways, I think that's that's a, a lot of shit. That's a lot of garbage, a lot of trash that's potentially coming from uh, Sony. What is your estimate on Craven's score? What do you think you're giving Craven? I'm going to assume Craven is going to be slightly above average, 6 out of 10. I'm thinking a 5. I want it to be a 7, but I think it's going to be a 5. Okay. I want it to be a good, dumb that's action movie. That's pretty good. Movie. High hopes yeah. for three? Sony, though. Oh, four. Three. Three. Like the, the thing is, the longer we go with Venom, the more I get upset that they're like just shitting on the character. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Venom Three is gonna be. A I, I hope that they'll learn from their mistakes, and I want it to be an eight or higher. But yeah. All right. Well, I hope you are right. Yep. Yeah, we'll see. We shall see. That is it. Super long, so I'm breaking <clears throat> this up. Into Another two PSA videos. though: be careful with fireworks. They'll destroy walls, brick walls, and, and your vision, and your vision, <laughs> and yeah, <laughs> roofs. <laughs> And uh, through 20 feet of water to slam into your eyeball. Yeah. Both <laughs> eyeballs. And you can save the day. Pepsi. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much. And thanks to our sponsor. For saving the day. <laughs> Which Pepsi sponsored us. Yes. I'll see you guys on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, everybody.